The leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution has said Tel Aviv will be razed to the ground if Israel attacks Iran. Gahi, gahi sardam dara, sardam daran rejim sahiyunisti maro tahdid ham mikonan, tahdid be hamle nizami mikonan. Amo be nazaram khodeshon ham midanan, va agar nemidanan bedanan, ke agar galati az onha sar bezanat. جمهوری اسلامی تل آویو و هیفا رو با خاک یکسان خواهد کرد Ayatollah said Ali Khamenei criticized the U.S. and its Western allies, including the U.K., for the public enmity towards Iran. He said such a hostile approach is unwise. He also said the U.S. does not want the dispute over Iran's nuclear energy program to be resolved. That's because it wants to put further pressure on the Iranian nation, but Iran will never be brought to its knees. He said further that anti-Iran sanctions have activated the internal capabilities of the country despite their negative impact and have contributed to great technological achievements. Ayatollah Khamenei said there are some who are displeased with Iran's progress and are trying to undermine its achievements through media propaganda. He said the Iranian nation has, however, emerged proud and victorious in spite of the enemy's plots and that today, without Iran's vote, no significant issue in the region can be resolved. The leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution made the remarks during an address to the public in the northeastern holy city of Mashhad. Let's get the thoughts of, the, of Fouad Azadi, who's a professor at the University of Tehran. He joins us from the capital, Tehran. Fouad Azadi, uh, Israel, the possessor of uh, Middle East's uh, uh, nuclear weapons, uh, which he, they have under declared it, uh, based on numerous threats on attacking Iran, has gotten a response from Iran's leader. What was your reaction based on uh, what Iran's leader has said regarding those numerous threats? Well, um, as you know, uh, Israeli leaders uh, threaten Iran uh, almost on a daily basis uh, and um, basically have increased this type of uh, rhetoric uh, recently. Uh, yesterday, Netanyahu was repeating the same accusations against Iran and threatening Iran again. So it's uh, just natural for uh, the leader of Islamic Revolution to respond to this level of uh, rhetoric. Uh, they are some analysts uh, in the Israeli side and the U.S. side that uh, think if, they, if Israelis attack Iran, Iran may not respond uh, in a similar manner. And that's a big mistake. And I think the leader of Islamic Revolution made this clear today. So memo to those analysts, uh, you're making a mistake. If uh, Israelis or Americans attack Iran, Iran's response will be quite harsh. And Iran is capable of uh, defending itself and uh, I think the Iranian army will um, do its job. So um, this is uh, basically a warning to the other side uh, for them not to make uh, that mistake. And also regarding uh, talks with the U.S., uh, the Iran's leader has said that uh, pretty much the U.S. does not want uh, Iran's nuclear issue to be resolved, but rather wants to continue with the talks. Uh, why would he say that? Um, I think uh, there were a couple of uh, very important uh, sentences in uh, his uh, speech today. Uh, one uh, sentence that was, uh, I think, uh, something relatively new uh, is that he will not oppose if uh, the Iranian government engages uh, in talks with the other side. Um, and uh, this is uh, something that uh, was said <coughs> before in, in a different uh, tone. I think the tone was a little different uh, today. Uh, he said that he is uh, not really sure if uh, the U.S. side is, uh, uh, is basically um, really interested in uh, true negotiations. And in true negotiations, you know, you have to give a little and uh, take a little. Um, his analysis, I thought Khamenei's analysis, was that uh, the U.S. wants to dictate his, uh, its uh, basically demands to Iran, and that's why he was not very hopeful that this type of negotiations uh, will uh, have any fruit. Uh, but I think what was quite important is that sentence that he said that he will not object 
to uh, the government, the executive branch basically in Iran, uh, to engage in this type of talks. And um, what he has been saying for the last many years is that Iran is ready to talk to the other side if Iran realizes that the other side is genuine in its uh, rhetoric. You know, you have had President Obama, Secretary Kerry, uh, more or less saying that they want to have uh, talks with Iran, and Iran has been saying that given your history, given your animosity, given the fact that you are sanctioning Iran in a very uncivilized manner, we need to see some positive steps, some positive action from you to believe your rhetoric. This is what he basically stated today, and then he stated that he will not object if the government engages in this type of uh, talks. I think that is uh, quite important. The other important uh, point that he made was with regard to uh, the enrichment issue, and he said that we need to see from the other side uh, a, a statement that uh, recognizes Iran's right to enrich uranium inside the country. And I think that is important because, as you know, Iran has been enriching 20 percent uh, uranium uh, for the last um, uh, couple of years because of the need that it had to uh, basically fuel uh, the uh, research reactor in Tehran. And um, that has been part of negotiations uh, for the last couple of years with regard to whether Iran is going to stay, is going to stay with this 20 percent enrichment or Iran is going to go back. So what Ayatollah Khamenei was saying is that our red line is the 5 percent enrichment, and I think that's significant. He's basically saying that the 20 percent enrichment is up for negotiation. Good to talk to you. Thank you so much for Professor at the University of Tehran there.